Hey crafty friends, it's Melinda from MyPaperCrafting.com and today I'm sharing with you how I created this super cute Christmas set. It's a card as well as a cute little tote, a uh, gift tote, and here is a look at the card. And it features dies from Cottage Cuts and this gorgeous Christmas farmhouse floral die and it's part of their new collection and at the time of this recording it's 30 percent off so that's a fantastic value but you get all of these gorgeous pieces in that one die including the milk can so that's um that's kind of the star of the show and then i also created this cute little gift tote and i put some of the foliage on there as well and did that and it's you can see it's like this perfect size for some maybe a few chocolates and like a little gift card you can see here the size of the gift card a standard gift card and it's not super thick but it's just the right size so that if you want to give a little something for the holiday season to some maybe co-workers or teachers um, but that's that's the set so we're going to go ahead and um, put that together but again here's the featured die from cottage cuts and then also i used their double stitched oval um, nesting or uh, die set so let's go ahead and jump right in Okay, so here are all of the various pieces that I cut from the die cut. And you can see all of the nice foliage that is included. And here's a picture of it, the Christmas Farmhouse Floral. And you get all of these nice pieces, including that really cute pine cone and that foliage and a couple of poinsettias and of course the milk can and all of that comes in there and it's just such nice little pieces and all of them come out in one pass and just a lot of pieces and then i also have the centers of the flowers and the little circles in the bag and i kept them in the bag so i wouldn't lose them they're awful small but we're going to go ahead and uh, do a little coloring. I'll play a little music and then we will assemble. Okay, so here I now have the bag that I created. It's an SVG file, and I just went ahead and folded the score lines. Now I'm putting down some mats of the designer paper that I created and printed out. And now here's the oval double stitched uh, die that I used from Cottage Cuts, and I just adhered a couple of mats one with pink cardstock and one with uh, again um, some designer paper that i printed out and created and here i have the christmas farmhouse floral set and i have assembled it and you see how it comes out in just that one pass and i've uh, assembled it and i'm going to go ahead and put it on to the oval mat and then i will finish giving it some um, final touches with some stickles and some glitter and things of that nature but I'm going to go ahead and put that down onto the oval mat I used some foam tape uh, so I could give it a little bit of lift 
and that way it, it has some movement while it's there. It still just gives the foliage, foliage excuse me, uh, a little bit of movement because there's some lift. And uh, I decided to go ahead and put a little bit more foam tape on the back of the oval to give that some lift as well. And now I'm just going to go ahead and put some tape along the bottom and the side. And you want to use a good adhesive that will um, keep that bag together so that when you give it away, it will be able to hold the contents and not fall apart. So I'm just assembling it now. And the last thing is you can um, put some, punch a couple holes in the top sides to adhere some uh, string or some ribbon, but we're gonna go ahead and finish it up and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is one last look at the set and i just think it came out super cute of course i love pink so um i chose to make it in that color scheme and as i mentioned in the video this is uh, some uh, digital paper that i created and uh, as well as uh, this piece here is also a digital uh, paper print that i created and so if you want information on that, it will be in the info section of the um, video as well as uh, information on the bag. And um, I will also leave a link to where you can go pick up this beautiful die set from uh, Cottage Cuts. And you'll want to make sure and check it out because there's uh, like 40, I think, new dies that have come out in that set that release. So just some amazing stuff. But anyway, I uh, thank you so much for sticking with me. And um, if you liked the video, please take a moment to hit the like button and subscribe. I sure would appreciate it. I um, am hoping to do a bunch more crafty videos in the days and weeks and months ahead. So until the next time, you have a wonderfully crafty day.